Hi, I'm Jason Luger. I'm an urban geographer and city planner, and I'm faculty in the Department of City and Regional Planning at UC Berkeley College of Environmental Design. And welcome to the second course of our five-part series, Introduction to City Planning. In this course, we'll look at modern ideas of planning from 1900 to 1939. In this course, we'll look at the development of planning from 1900 to the outbreak of World War II. This was an era where modern ideas, technologies, and politics came together as planning, and cities were dramatically reshaped by planners, as opposed to previous eras when there had been architects, designers, and politicians, but no such thing as a planner. Spatial planning is born in this era. That's the coming together of the physical form, architecture and design, with social, cultural, and economic aspects. The 1920s and 30s had a flurry of utopian ideas and visions, but darkness approaches as political divisions and extreme ideology plunge the world into conflict. In this course, students will understand the evolution of contemporary planning by comparing previous movements with contemporary ones. We'll look at key shifts in the cultural, economic, political, and industrial relationships and hierarchies between and across different cities. Students will recognize how city planning as a coherent modern discipline emerged from the ideas of writers, politicians, architects, designers, and social reformers. We'll compare and contrast the ways that technology and innovations change cities, the way planners must plan for cities, from older things like aqueducts and railroads to 20th century innovations like the automobile and the airplane. We'll critically evaluate how historical planning movements were successful and how and why we still learn from them, but also why and how they failed. And finally, recognize and assess the relationships between planning, the economy, politics, and society, the way that industrial innovation gave rise to revolutions and transformative social movements, and make links from those to our contemporary urban world. In this course, Modern Ideas of City Planning, students will learn about key developments, innovations, and debates in early planning. For example, the movements from the Garden City to Le Corbusier's Towers in the Park, Frank Lloyd Wright's ideas of Broadacre City, the socialist realist Bauhaus principles, and how that brought together planning, art, and design fascist and Stalinist planning, and how those things produce their own urban forms. How planning as a formal tool could now shape cities in a coherent and efficient way through new tools like zoning and new powers in making infrastructure, exemplified by master planners like Robert Moses in New York. But thus, planning in the modern age also came with tools for division and the unjust and uneven distribution of the urban environment, which favored some over others.